All right, so me and the two other monkeys are actually heading back down. We kind of live all in the same vicinity, um, but we just had pizza right here by the beach or by the ocean. And then now we're just gonna head back. Just us three monkeys. Now this group ride, um, it's weird because, what is it? Our group rides normally are always minis, but this time is all like, it's um, it's like a mix. There's like literally only four of us minis, so three monkeys, or two other monkeys besides mine, and then one Grom, but no, just us three riding back with us three monkeys, because the vibe. So the one, the guy in the, so Jonathan, the one in the yellow monkey, I literally just met him, but he doesn't live that far from me. And then the one behind me, uh, I'll be honest, I forgot his name. Uh, and the blue monkey with the Kosa 170, uh, he lives in, uh, there's like 15 minutes from me, but got their numbers. So we're gonna try to connect more often, just so we can start riding more. Um, because, you know, it doesn't hurt having more, having more minis with us. Oh, a bunch of Harleys are here. Oh, uh, man. San Diego is by far, like, I think the best place for uh, motorcycle owners. It's just, there's so much, there's so much, there's so many places to ride to, and this is just like, look at this, you know, this is what you see. There's a lot of places along the, the coast where you can uh, stop. Um, I know Jonathan wants to plan a ride up to Yosemite on the monkey, so... I don't know. We will see in the long run, maybe. Because I've seen a lot of people do cross-country um, road trips on monkeys, so you just get like a luggage rack like what he has, like a small one right there, or you get a bigger one and literally put like a tent and all your necessary things that you need for camping all inside or on the back of the monkey and they do have like a luggage rack for the gas tank too like a little rack so these monkeys they have so much um camping accessories that you can do to these and literally get them ready for your camping trip and also too these guys are on stock suspension which is perfect for like off-road and stuff this right here mine is not ideal for it but <laughs> he was uh, off-roading a little bit at Fiesta at the beginning of the video and uh, I sometimes do wish I did have stock suspension on this But you know what? It's okay. Oh wait, that looks it looks like aftermarket They're slightly different But yep, we're about to pass Solana Beach And I honestly don't know where to continue this video But hopefully you guys are enjoying these motor vlogs and stay tuned Ooh. Stay tuned for the next one. So, yeah. Oh, here's Pizza Port. Pizza Port is pretty bomb. I don't know where else to continue this video. We are just gonna ride back, split off, um, go home, and hopefully it doesn't rain. It is pretty, pretty dark. So, we will see where we go from here. But, like I said, hope you guys are enjoying these motor vlogs. I'm literally riding this thing every day. Definitely different content. But honestly, I feel like content is content and I actually do generally enjoy the motor vlogs. Just talking to you guys and literally riding a little moped or riding a little motorcycle around town. This is a stage one DHM and then since I upgraded to the Coastal 170, uh, I'm just gonna give him this cam and the ECU. Um, cause so he does he doesn't need like reflash or anything because his is a monkey the monkey ECUs are slightly different from the Grom ECUs. Um so Yep. I think this is where we uh, part ways. Actually one more light then we part ways. Bye! Oh last ride! Bye! <laughs>
Where'd he go? Oh, he's back there. <laughs> Alright, well, that's it. Uh, we all split off. What? Nice to meet them too. Um, we, uh, we literally just like sat at the table, ate pizza, and literally, you know, this vibe. I think because we all have <laughs> pretty much the same bike. Um, but, yep, now I'm just gonna head back home. And then, uh, we will, uh, yeah, just gonna continue on uh, with editing this video. One. We are actually heading to Best Buy with Kit and Ty right now. So they both got Z25s with exhausts but no baffle. So might be uh, pretty loud. We're heading to Best Buy now because uh, Kit wants to start motor vlogging. And uh, he already has a GoPro and stuff for when he's going to the track with his car. So what we're doing now is well, in order to uh, plug in a external microphone on your GoPro, especially for a helmet. He's um, gonna go pick up the GoPro Media Mod from the Best Buy because the other Best Buy they went to earlier doesn't have it. And we are kind of in a rush because they close in 54 minutes, but they should only take us like, probably like 15, 15 minutes to get there or probably less because we're gonna have to go through here and go straight down. But I did change their recording quality to 4K at 30 frames. I might try 60 later on, but 60 is only good if you want to do slow-mo and stuff. But we are going to be recording at 30 frames right now. And then um, it is a test. I haven't figured out like the exact settings I want to use for um, the videos. Now that I think about it, I haven't done a proper walk around of my monkey for you guys. Since we are doing way more monkey content. And there's Kit. And uh, we'll review that later. But we uh, put some work into his bike. Put a four and a half inch lowering kit, stretch kit, um, and then uh, lower the front bars and then also lower the front forks. Woo! Things loud. Also, you got new tires, the uh, Kenda KD1s. I generally do enjoy night rides, but there's some times where I feel like riding during the day is a uh, well, depending on where your destination is, riding during the day is a lot nicer, especially like right off the coast because you can see the water. Um, but I feel like nighttime is better to ride at like towns or cities and stuff, just like the nightlife and stuff. Uh, especially since you can't really see anything, minus all like the beautiful lights and stuff from like come from the stores. I also did change my uh, temp gauge back to Fahrenheit. I should probably do a walkthrough on this gauge cluster because throughout the time they do discontinue like grommy monkey stuff. Huh? No mirrors. What? Oh! <laughs> no mirrors? Yeah, it's close. But it stays on. Oh, I forgot. Oh yeah, you need a you need the relay. Dude! Dude, both of you guys beside me is so loud. No baffles? It's double the loudness for you. Yeah. It's okay though. I'm like blasting my music, kind of. But look, I mean, we're almost there. Oh, you put mirrors on, or just one? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, you guys are pretty much twins, but stock and lowered and modded. Dude, that's a good comparison video between the two. Oh, you can't see with your visor? No, it's really dark. Oh, dude, that's what I said. <laughs> I just it. Uh, yeah, yeah. It's all right.
<laughs> or if anything, let him borrow that. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I forgot, my bad. I forgot the helmets are different. Green. Now that I think about it, I don't even know why I even changed this or didn't change it to Fahrenheit. License plate is called City Kid. Right, city kid, city. I mean, I'm assuming a C city KDD city kid. I wonder if like people ever get offered for their license plates. I did actually bring an extra GoPro battery just because. I don't know how long the oh shoot the 4k video like kills the battery or I mean recording 4k the battery does kind of doesn't last as long as 1080 but I kind of want better better quality because I feel like now when you upload I feel like now when you upload on YouTube your resolution like after they compress your file your video file like it shoots it down unless like you shoot in 4k I feel like they're like making you record in 4k huh what Oh, I don't know what he said. <laughs> Made it just in time. Best Buy. I actually love Best Buy. I think this one, they are uh, still remodeling. Um, perks of painting a little motorcycle. Just park it in the um, sidewalk. Hey babe, I'm going to the bathroom. <laughs> hey babe, I'm going to an off-rub deal. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Oh. You tell me. Oh, that's a, a safety strap that you put on your helmet. So if your GoPro does fall off, it'll catch it. That's smart. I don't have it. Oh. I just said what? I mean, I have my audio cable, right? Yeah. So, all right. I guess. Uh, oh. Damn, it's echoing, huh? Is it recording? Yeah. Uh, Is mine? Yeah. I have the screen off, so it saves battery. What? All right. So we didn't know where to go eat, so we're just gonna go um get some boba and boba snacks. You know the typical Asian thing. But honestly, who doesn't love boba? Oh yeah, I need to set my set my uh, temp limit because this gauge cluster starts down here. It blink blink red when it when your bike's like overheating or if it's way too hot. And also, um, Ty has, um, I think this is his first time riding at night, so he doesn't have a uh, clear visor. So he has the reflective, like the chrome, like on the shoeies, they call that like, the chroma. Don't touch it. Leave my bike alone. You know, there's a, there's another way. Oh, wait. K kick his kickstand down. Huh? His kickstand. It only works when you're in gear. I like it so much. He has the Sidisi, uh, or Sidisi, I think that's how you say it, uh, carbon helmet, but it's like the big weave.
up a hill now. On these bikes, you definitely need a downshift gear to go up a big hill. But for the most part, it'll take you up the hill. But I mean, all three of us, we are kind of light. No offense to anyone that, that weighs heavier than me, but uh, weight does actually play a huge factor for these bikes. So um, think of it as like a car, right? A car, if you, um, what is it? It would like a 200 horsepower Civic EG, right? But full interior versus a 200 horsepower EG but fully stripped out so that's exactly like the same um same concept for these bikes these bikes are literally uh, like to go faster weight is a mod but for the most part i mean you'll get up to speed but everybody's different weight plays a huge role on these bikes Oh, although it is talking about, I think he's recording on the GoPro. Damn. This thing moves. See the alignment on the truck? Oh no? Oh, I didn't see it. I was on the right side, that's why. He was crab walking. I mean, most of the times if we hop on the freeway, it's like one exit. You good back? You good back there? I'm slowing down for you. Oh damn, you're far! Was I going that fast? I'm exiting on Claremont. I think I lost, uh, I think I lost connection with you. Are we connected still? Hello? Oh, okay. Lost you for a bit. <laughs> yeah. I was able to hit 76, but I think um, if I was able to tuck more and this thing had like fairings on it, I think A to be super easy. No, it was fine. No speed wobbles. The only, um, only time I get speed wobble is like if I'm taking a turn really fast. Like the on-ramp, but my friend uh, Eli from Joe, he has the same issues with this. And then what he did was he got a uh, steering damper and he got rid of all the speed wobble. It's because of the, yeah, it's because of the tires on these. It's weird. But also, yeah. Wait, what the hell? The thing, oh, this lane's closed. Oh, uh, I tried the car's coming by. Wait, is that close? No, it's up. Dude, endless amount. Oh, they fixed the road. 
Thank God they fixed the roads. The roads, the roads are ass. San Diego roads are the horrible, man. I miss Irvine roads. Oh, damn, they did this whole street. 